What is up, everybody? Coming to you guys with another installment of the Post Bay Podcast. The first installment of the podcast for the 2019-2020 season. Um, as you guys probably already know, Zion made his NBA debut. We're going to talk about the good, the bad, and all the potential that I've seen in Zion from just this one game. Now, the build-up for this game was crazy. Really, just the build-up for Zion in general has been crazy. Dating back all the way to his high school days. I mean, the highlights of Zion going crazy against high schoolers and people saying, oh, well, he's playing against people much smaller than him. Of course, he's going to dominate. What NBA player doesn't dominate when they're in high school? Well, when he went to college and he was practically doing the same thing, they were saying, oh, wait until he gets to the NBA and he's going up against competition a lot more physical than him. Uh, he's going up against competition where they can game plan to stop him compared to in college where most teams run a zone and he's able to pretty much pick that apart and get to his spots and whatnot. Well, when it came to the preseason <laughs> in the NBA, Zion was still doing his thing. He was averaging around 22, 23 points. He was actually tied for third in uh, scoring for the preseason, which, I mean, it is preseason, and that's what the Dallas were saying. Oh, it's preseason. Um, when Zion was going up against Rudy Gobert, two-time uh, defensive player of the year, maybe even three after the performances he is, he's had uh, this NBA season, people were saying, oh, Zion was just doing this and Rudy Gobert wasn't taking it serious. Well, due to the injury, we weren't able to see Zion at the beginning of the NBA season. So for those three months, that build up has been building and building and building. And <laughs> it finally got unleashed. Uh, this game against the San Antonio Spurs, uh, it was a bit rocky for the Pelicans uh, in general as a whole, not just for Zion. Uh, Pelicans weren't hitting their, their shots. Uh, defense was lackluster. LaMarcus Aldridge was getting to his spots against Derek Favors and hitting contested jump shots. Uh, DeMar DeRozan was getting to his spots and hitting mid-ranges as well. And then you had players like uh, Derek White and Brent Forbes uh, able to hit open and contested threes. Whereas the Pelicans really struggled. Brandon Ingram couldn't find his groove. Uh, Drew Holiday was pretty much a non-factor on the offensive end. Um, Lonzo. Lonzo was actually uh, doing a pretty solid job at not only pushing the pace, but uh, finding players for open threes. But like I mentioned before, the Pelicans just weren't hitting their shots at all. Um, Zion. Zion really wasn't living up to the height. Uh, if you look at the first three quarters, uh, he was losing the ball when he tried to dribble. Uh, he wasn't attacking the rim. Um, on defense, he was okay. There were a couple of plays where uh, he missed assignments, which led to an open three or an open layup. But overall, Zion was, let's, let's face it, he was looking horrible. And I mean, you kind of want to give him a pass because it's his first NBA game and really his first game in a while due to the injury. Um, he suffered his injury fairly early in the preseason. So, I mean, this game was kind of like a recovery game for him so he can kind of get used to the NBA speed and whatnot. Which, if you look at the fourth quarter, he definitely adjusted. I mean, the guy came out on fire. He was playing a lot more aggressive, which Alvin Gentry mentioned in the post-game conference that he sat with Zion. He was like, look, I want you to be more aggressive. I want you to be the Zion that we all know. Uh, play freely, have fun, do your thing. And Zion didn't disappoint. Um, in the fourth quarter alone, he was able to score 17 points. There was a stretch where he accounted for 21 points, 21 straight points for the Pelicans. Zion finished the night with 22 points, 8 of 11 from the field goal, 4 for 4 from threes, 
seven rebounds, three assists in 18 minutes. 18, do you know how crazy that is? 18 minutes he did all of this. And really a bulk of his points came in about, what, 60 seconds or so? About a minute, a minute and a half? When he was just, every possession, it was either a three or he was attacking the rim, getting put backs, etc. He straight up took over the game and single-handedly brought the Pelicans back. I mean, like I said, nobody was really having a good game other than uh, maybe Lonzo. The Pelicans were just off and the Spurs were hitting everything. Um, this typical Spurs. The Spurs never beat themselves. You have to go out there and beat the Spurs. Uh, Zion was as good as advertised. I mean, it kind of sucks not being able to see him like in his full potential in terms of minutes. Like I said, he only played 18 minutes. Really, it was all in bursts. He played about four minutes in the first, uh, like the first three quarters. Like first quarter, he played four minutes. Second quarter, he played four minutes. Third quarter, he played four minutes. Then in the fourth quarter, I want to say he played around six or eight-ish. Um, Alvin Gentry brought up in the post-conference that the uh, training staff actually went to Alvin Gentry while Zion was on the court. It was like, look, you're going to have to pull him for health reasons. And Alvin was like, I'll pull him out in two minutes. And in that two minutes is when Zion made his run. So, I mean... It, if you're asking me, I think if Zion would have stayed in, the Pelicans would have won that game. That momentum, uh, the crowd was in it. And really, once he found his groove, he was the go-to scorer for the Pelicans. The The defense was improving. Like, just overall, the team spirit was improving. But I understand them wanting to take him out now that I've had a chance to sit back and look at things from a wider spectrum. Uh, it's all for his help. I mean, what if he would have went out there and, and got hurt? You know, it's it's not worth it. It is just, it is one game. And it is against somebody who's ahead of the Pelicans in the standings as they're all fighting for that last uh, eight spot. But I mean, the Pelicans will be playing the Spurs three more times. They will also be playing the Grizzlies who are now ninth because the Spurs won three more times. So it's better to have Zion in the long run rather than to have him for just this one game. Now, I'm, I'm curious to see what you guys think about uh, Zion's performance. Uh, feel free to leave a message in the comments or really you can reach the Post Fade Podcast at any social media platforms, whether it's Twitter, uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, MySpace. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, you can even hit us up on email at the post fade at gmail.com over there we'll be able to take more questions if you guys have any um i will be dropping more um, podcast videos now like i said i wanted to wait a little while until the season progressed but after this debut i'm <laughs> and also because there's a lot to talk about i will be dropping more videos so stay tuned it's been real i'm out peace Thank you.